Hey Louvren and welcome back once again to Decisive Campaigns, the Blitzkrieg from Warsaw to Paris. This episode is brought to you by my Patreon supporter, Poonarao. And if you'd like to see more additional content as well, head down to patreon.com, see which level of support suits you. With that said, we are in the final stage of this mission. I would like to wrap things up here, so let's just see what we can accomplish. We're on the doorsteps of Paris. It's inside, actually, like my territory is on the same region as Paris itself. So uh, I do think that we're well underway. Let's, uh, like I said, see if we can wrap things up here. The enemy turn also should no longer take all that long. Um, my forces are primed to to get there. So how much movement? Yeah, they they can get there by themselves. So that that would be rather useless. Uh, and this far as that goes we have the artillery and the 76th mm, well, no no need to move them as a group because these are exactly the kind of units that uh, need to go as fast as possible then we have this score. Mm, sure. Let's go. Next one. I think these are the ones that should probably try to deal with these two stacks. So let's uh, allocate the 36. I uh, probably won't won't actually be attacking them this turn for the 68th also I I'll just get over the river and then attack these on the next turn potentially we'll uh, we'll see how that goes There we are. All right. Uh, yeah, so they are dealing with what's going on in Reims right now. That's excellent. Continue to harass enemy forces like that. Let's allocate the 16th to deal with this stack. Those were easy enough. So, all of those are part of that core, but you are part of the fourth. And actually, I'll. The fourth currently also has the 24th armed division. Uh huh. So, they should 
actually be ahead by a lot. Uh, so let's keep them going. These guys still not getting this. I really think it has to do with the trucks. But this division is part of this core. No, oh, that takes too much. I'll, th I'll think about what to do with them. They just have very little movement, so just moving them in general is... Not the most amazing. I'm very confused now. Where are the other parts of the 24? They're even further away. Alright. Let's go. Anyway, I will then get units from the 33rd. also move up to deal with this pocket like I already said I'm, uh, I'm using the the 40th to deal with everything here but I want the 12th army I actually need to allocate you to the 16th and then both of these are not part of the those of the 12th I'll leave these to the 16th for now. Um, so, so moving these along the rail. That will get them further ahead. They've been in there for quite a while, so I would actually think this will work. Probably not a great idea to attack these guys already with the 6th. that amount of damage I now do feel that attacking is okay didn't feel confident enough at first but now I can move up a little bit that does mean I can bomb again yeah 
Yeah, I know I'm being very cautious here, but I don't really want to take that many more losses now. So, in that regard, uh, I do think this is the the safest uh, safest bet like this. And last one will be a little bit more dangerous but we'll see loss of 100 well I can live with it um. there we go I'll move one back and you can stay there these guys are not gonna go out and attack this anyway but this will allow me to eventually clear that okay now 10th panzer I'll actually I'll, I'll just drive straight through Just like I'll do with the units from first panzer. Yeah, they might take back Schwarzon, but I really don't care. What I do care about is using this speed card on first panzer. That will allow some, okay, it, it didn't help that much. I was too far away. I guess, um, anyway, you guys are doing fine. They're part of the third core. Oh. Oops. At least they didn't take any damage. Wow. Mm, yep. Yeah. Fine then. Next up. I'm looking for the last part of the third here. Yeah, I better make use of my strategic uh, movement. And one thing I also can do is use seventh panzer to thin out this area a little bit not that it really is all that necessary but since uh actually do need engineers up in there because i do want to repair that so Sure, the British might be a bit more resistant. So have to be a bit more careful okay 
and neither of them will be able to attack, I think. No. And that's fine. These guys also cannot attack in their current state. But we're, uh, we're getting some of the units up. That's fine. Um, okay. Let's have the 12th go and deal with these, at least with the artillery for the moment. So they'll take that on the next turn. Um, let's try to deal with these. start and circling the rest of these guys next is a huge stack wow. Wow. I know this sucks but I won't be able to attack them on this turn anyway. I'll leave that for the next uh, next turn. they can move further to deal with the artillery on the next turn here. Great. That's Get a few more artillery. Because it will still by no means be the easiest of attacks. Well, fair enough. Uh, that's the 8th, then the 28th. We'll be dealing with the top later on. And... I think it went back in there. <clears throat> but I think, uh, yeah, we're, we're looking uh, good enough on those. Um, no clue what these guys are, but we'll figure it out eventually. So that's that. This is the fifth core. And 
they are, I guess, moving in that direction. As part of the 6th Army. You are part of that corps. I'm gonna deal with them currently. Mm. Right, I'll, I'll just uh, leave some of those. I'm not really sure why the AI evacuated Ghent, but I'm not complaining here. Ghent was a serious problem. that then these hexes don't actually secede uh, it's just weird but oh well as i'm not attacking these i might just as well bomb this because uh yeah, it will be tough anyway. Didn't help too much. They also have plus 40 defense on some of them. I'm, I'm not going to take any risks here. There is no reason to. So, why would I? No group movement. Only thing that I have left for them is the calorie. And currently, the other part is there. Sure, that's fine. Last part of the 22nd. Yeah, there's no last part. I might just as well use these guys as uh, a cleaning duty now as well because they're, they're just, uh, you know, they're going to be way too late to get to this area anyway. Hmm. Okay, it was a bit tougher than expected, but they just got a, a bunch of units there, so. Uh, okay, so this also allows me to see how many additional units there potentially are. The same thing rather applies for these. Like uh, I'm just here to to hold it. I already got Leal as well. Let's 
So let's clean house. Mm, okay, we have these. So some of them can move into Ghent, but it's not a good idea to do that with all of them. And then we have you, which are part of these as well. Also part of the sixth army. I guess moving all of them is just too much trouble. So I'll m move individual parts. I could probably do three and then the last one will have to be transferred. No, okay, Never mind. I can only do two. That's also fine. I mean, uh, it just means that I'm doing a little bit less. Seems like it also works like that for the these units. I'll transfer them on the next turn. You. Part of the ninth, I'll just move them there. But those units can stay in that position. All right, I think that I am pretty much set. Not really sure whether attacking these guys now is a great idea, but yeah, let's see. So I took care of that. There are some units here in the center. Fair enough. with the both of them. I'm not attacking yet anyway. Let's have you try to go and repair that bridge. Then there's still the 18th army. Artillery that needs to catch up. Interestingly enough, these guys also have 4th Panzer. To be honest, the 4th Panzer is probably best off just resting. fair I'd rather do AA first and the 110 R35s later if you ask me then there's also still these yeah Let's get across because that is uh, ultimately what I want to do. I move these guys in here because that will also help me as to nah, for them not to go in there. So 
Um, you need to move up. No speed card, but it's not necessary. I still have absolutely no other troops in here, but there is really nothing I can do against that, especially with everything going on. Um, there are way too many enemies that have been encircled for me to seriously deal with it. There are a bunch of units encircled, but Nothing can be done about them. Uh, all right, so with everything said and done, it is time to ship it back to the enemy and then I'll meet you back. So let's uh, we'll, we'll see what uh, DAI does here. Yeah, meet you on the other side. All right, back and it's again raining. Wow, we've had a lot of rain turns. We need two more VPs. Now, uh, if we look at the history, there was actually yeah some artillery, so we lost fifty there, but there was also a bigger battle here. We lost 200 infantry and 5 panzers, and that's it. But, uh, yeah, these units from Sick Panzer were beaten aback. Uh, let, so let's, uh, let's continue here. So it seems to me that I can probably deal with it through these two. I mean, amazing it is not, but uh, that works. Let's attack those bombers. Not sure whether they would uh, actually escape. Uh, probably won't be able to see my history. No. Hmm. Well, I mean, uh, we got it. There are apparently still a few troops here, but since uh, I... <laughs> Let's at least drill them in. Good. Okay. Um... Fifth Panzer. They still have that BEF unit there, interestingly enough. 45, yeah. Unit troops. Let's bomb it. I know it's from very far, but... I also didn't do that much, but maybe it disorganized them a little bit, or... Something along those lines. Just like this. Obviously it wasn't going to do that much, but... Come on. Okay, good. So now both of these evacuation points have been taken. And... Yeah, that just means that whatever enemy units were still left they are now uh, well out of the way hmm. 
So they actually had quite a few units that still tried to escape, but it seems like their plan has failed. Yeah, they might have... It would have been very unlikely, but they might have gotten the, <laughs> I guess, the, the 12th out. But now that they also cannot locate any evacuation point, there is uh, no way that they are going to get out. Through any means. Ah, I could have played an attack card for the fifth. Um, the actually important thing for these guys though is that I'm gonna get them down uh, so they can help the 62nd in moving they're moving down I guess towards uh, Paris and Rouen and Okay, the SS for Fugungstruppen. Let's get the other one in there. And you in there. So the 46th also tried to escape there. Let's continue with clearing out the enemies. So, here, Let's move you back because apparently those guys are a bit too powerful. Now, it did seem to me like indeed they had some. Uh, it, it might just be an engineer, but still. Yeah, at this point, I'm also just trying to bypass whatever places I can bypass. Ah, could have moved in there. That would have been pretty good. Um, yeah, so that that's why I'm moving units or those units further down. Not that. Probably huh. okay. Um, I'm quite sure that the uh, French will uh, lose a lot more again. It doesn't give me VPs, but uh, although actually now that I think about it, for me to take both Calais 
and Boulogne. I think already that might be enough. Because uh, last turn I had 68 and I needed 70 to win. Mm. So not only that, I now technically have New York, which is also a point. Uh, so maybe... No, I didn't take it. Even though this is also empty. Ah. Uh, there's there's no way any of these can get all the way in there. Ish. Well, let's just uh, keep going and hope we'll win on the next turn. You know, there's a decent chance we will, so... I will, uh... Meanwhile, just continue on. Let's move these two, then we have the 58th, which can cross the river, very useful here indeed as well. Now these are encircled. I know it's a bit silly to do it with engineers, but why not, right? It still cuts them off. It still means they will have trouble with supplies, etc. So, you don't hear me complain about it. Um, what core are you part of? This. So now, all of these guys are actually down here. <laughs> it also cuts off them. A shame I can't actually get there, but... Uh, eh, that's fine. I completely forgot them, but they are... At this point, it's... I don't want to say inconsequential what I do with them, but uh, we are so close to victory here now. Actually, I might be more interested in attacking this stack. Let's 
it's a lot weaker, I think. And I'll try to deal with these guys on the next turn, if there is a next turn, at, the, at any rate. No, it's heavy forest. Bombing in heavy forest is just not a good idea. This is free, so let's move in there. And really only for those units with which it is useful to then move. I will. Because that will allow me to get closer to these. Although... I don't need to attack them at this moment. are easy enough to kill this is also heavy forest very unfortunate actually but good for the AI still and despite all of it I'm gonna have to do bombing because uh, I do find them relatively well organized and things like that. Let's see. Okay, that actually went well. Uh, yeah. So there we go. I'm feeling pretty good about eliminating the rest of all these, maybe with the exception of one on a potential next turn. go next let's use the fifth artillery only 
and then attack. my way like that. Engineers, artillery, and that, huh? Well, I think these guys have been encircled enough that we can do this. It's fine. Let's go, and we'll try to deal with those guys on the next turn, too. doesn't matter super much where they're going to. I mean, they'll get bombed quite a bit anyway. This might actually hurt a bit. Not as much as I thought, only a hundred. That is indeed not so bad. that uh, cleaning out this pocket might not be the most interesting thing, especially since I'm very close to actual victory as well. I'm trying to weed out all the... Okay, there we go. Uh, units that mess up the front edge. These tanks might be the biggest problem still remaining. Down to one big stack. And then there's still this huge, uh, huge pocket. So that we, we're not even close. But I got the Matildas, okay. There we 
go. Kinda need these guys. Need these guys to get into months. Um, you know, look, I, I said that I would probably wrap things up here. Um, but to be honest, since I've been playing for quite a bit already, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this this mission up in the next uh, next episode then, and we'll make us start with uh, Operation Sea Line probably at that point too. Uh, till what day do we have anyway? Um, June 8th. Well, we're quite a bit ahead of schedule, luckily. Like I said, we'll potentially already... I think we'll already win on the next turn, but we'll have to uh, just make sure anyhow. Um, but And I don't want to get into trouble, so I, I do want to try and diminish all the pockets and as much as possible and things like that in the meanwhile, so... Um, because that that does seem to be the correct attitude as well um anyway i'm gonna end the video here i want to thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this a special shout out to my patreon supporters spooner owl dungeon pastor thumbs off Trillion, thomas b marshall c data and swords thanks for watching everyone take care Bye bye